This is Mary Michelle for WVIP. The 1938 feature, Made for Each Other, has a marvelous cast. Carol Lombard as the lively, confident, and endearing wife. James Stewart as a hard-working, responsible, and loving husband. We share her enthusiasm, her achievement of motherhood in her line, Don't you think he's just beautiful? As we never doubt, his yearbook quote of, The most likely to succeed. This film, having been made in the height of the Great Depression, has the marvelous housekeeper Lily reminding us to spit out those watermelon seeds. Charles Coburn, as the judge, is wonderfully cantankerous with his oversized hearing apparatus. The directorial style of John Cromwell is seamless, and it is as if producer David O. Selznick's motto, in a tradition of quality, is well accomplished. After a message from our sponsor, please sit back and enjoy the show. I'm Mary Michelle for WVIP. This is Mary Michelle for WVIP. The 1934 movie, Call It Murder, with Humphrey Bogart and Sidney Fox, gives us some good dramatic moments. The story reminds me of Portia in The Merchant of Venice and her classic speech, The Quality of Mercy Be Not Strained. The opening scene as the camera pans over the faces of the jury and others in the courtroom is full of anticipation. You feel the dilemma of compassion versus justice. The opening line, you see, I loved him, sets the pace for this psychodrama concerning the issue of capital punishment versus the quality of mercy. From a play by Paul and Claire Sifton called Midnight, the director, Chester Erskine, handles the play of shadows in this black and white feature with finesse. The foreman of the jury paces back and forth behind the bars on his staircase as the accused murderess paces behind the bars in her cell. Something we don't see on today's courtroom TV is the legal right of a jury member to question the witness. In the end, is the letter of the law to be held in higher esteem than the element of human emotional truth? Sidney Fox, as the foreman's daughter, is the character that presents us with this dilemma. We are torn by her personal tragedy. Bogey has wonderful style as the tough guy with no heart. After a message from our sponsors, please sit back and enjoy Call It Murder with Humphrey Bogart and Sidney Fox. Be on them, though, don't you? I mean, they're not allowed to run wild, which is what I'm trying to say. Well, in the in the kids' area, they, they are allowed to run wild because, uh, oh. you know, <laughs> it, it, that's, that was the whole thing to, to make to make an area where they could actually do their own thing in there. Um, you know, there's actually some balls in there, and they, they throw the balls, but it's a separate area from the dining room, and it is on the kids' side. So if you're sitting on the original side, you, you really can't hear much of what's going on on the other side. Okay, so if you are a businessman, then this is a good place to come also. What about... Um, I don't want to use the word senior citizen. <clears throat> Somebody over the age of 50, middle age, something like that. They're, they're going to feel very comfortable and they're going to be welcomed, aren't they? Uh, yes, uh, especially if you do like kids, and most people do like kids. If you can't stand kids, then uh, it's not the right <laughs> place to come. Uh, but we did the. But you can order dinner. out. Uh, yes, you can. We also do delivery. So we'll get to that it, in a couple of minutes, it too. Your, house, your, your dining room, actually. Okay. We're talking to uh, Izzy Albanese of Pizza Pizzazz. They're on Main Street, Mount Kisco, across from the movie theater. 241-1200, the number to call there. I'm Mike Sarnoff. This is Meet the VIPs. Back in just about two minutes. Welcome back to Meet the VIPs. Mike Sonoff with you, and our guest is Izzy Albanese of Pizza Pizzazz on Main Street, Mount Kisco, right across from the movie theater. 241-1200 is their phone number. Um, we, we started to talk...